All right, what's good, what's good? Um, I'm on my way to school, but I had some shit on my mind, so I just wanted, I just wanted to talk about some shit real quick. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, this pa I just, I just came off 11 day street this past weekend. Um, unfortunately, I ended my 11 day street uh, yesterday, so you know that sucks because I was going pretty strong. But basically, what I want to talk about is is um, I just wanted to talk about the comparison between semen retention and Naruto because I've realized that with a lot of animes and a lot of uh, sometimes even cartoons that there's a uh, there's a there's a broad message that's actually being told within animes and cartoons and it just makes me realize how how in sync and tapped in other cultures are and it kind of makes me disappointed because it also makes me realize how lost we are luckily though people are starting to kind of wake up <clears throat> it's starting to kind of grow but <clears throat> we've been lost for so damn long bro but so listen um so what i kind of realized is that this past 11 day street you feel what i'm saying it was good it was a, it was a good street you know what i mean this isn't my first this isn't my first rodeo so i've already you know all the benefits and shit i've already felt that but this past 11 day street um i was having a conversation with a friend um we were having a conversation about anime um i was at a i was in, i was at a i was at a, a dorm we was in a dorm and we was having a conversation about anime and i was telling him about semen retention and i was telling him how to i was telling him how a lot of uh aspects of naruto really have a lot to do with energy and semen and and retention and holding your energy i mean if you think about the whole if you think about what chakra really is and you and you understand what chakra really is i mean chakra is really just energy bro and the more energy you have essentially the more powerful but if you know how to if you know how to uh take that chakra and use it in different areas like in naruto they could take their chakra and they could use it in different areas of their body you know what i mean the, the skilled ninjas could take their chakra and use it in different areas of, of their body in different areas of just like you know whatever they was doing and i think that that's i think that that uh that plays a big part in the in, in the story that i'm trying to tell but basically what i'm trying to say is that um so uh chakra it, it is really kind of like what we have inside of us it's, it's chakra and the more chakra you have the better so essentially the more you retain your semen and the more you retain your life force you could you could you know you could probably inherently uh make that comparison with, with chakra the more semen you have the more chakra you have the more stronger the more powerful you become you know what i mean you get today you get today 90 and before you know it you start growing a beard you start growing a mustache you know you be having full you you turn into a completely different person you transform into a completely different person not only physically but mentally you know what i mean this is really a mental journey you know what i mean like the, the physical aspect of semen retention you have to focus on by yourself you know what i mean uh no fat and semen retention is just a tool that's just a tool for you to get up off your ass but once you get up off your ass you actually actually have to take yourself to the gym you have to take yourself to you know what i mean to 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 the things that you want to uh do to make yourself better but uh you know so yeah and if and if you really even if you even really look at the whole kind of story of naruto i'm not even just talking about from to the end everybody wants to jump to the end when this nigga was crazy powerful i'm talking about in the beginning in the beginning when naruto first started he didn't fit in he didn't fit in with anybody bro he didn't he didn't fit in people didn't like him you know what i mean uh, the girl that he wanted she was she wanted somebody else she wasn't even looking at naruto like that and i'm like i just feel like that 
you know, and, and they made Naruto the main character for a reason. They made him the main character for a reason because he wanted, they were trying to display you. They were trying to display you. They wanted you to feel like Naruto because a lot of a lot of people do feel like him. They don't fit in. They don't get along with people. You feel what I'm saying? They feel like the world hates them. And the reason why I'm telling this story essentially is because that's kind of how I was feeling uh, um, the other day. And I don't know if I... I don't know if I was having a flat line. I couldn't really tell if I was having a flat line or not. But all I know is that I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all this about uh, those of y'all that are on longer streaks. Y'all are on longer semen retention streaks and uh, things of that nature. I'm gonna tell you this. When you start to get on longer streaks of semen retention, um, you're not gonna be able to do a lot of the things that you used to do. Like you think that you might, you're gonna still be able to, you're still gonna be playing video games, and you think that. You're still going to play, um, you're still going to, you know, sit down and, and binge watch Netflix all day. But to be honest with you, you're not, you're not, you're going to, you're going to have way too much energy. And unless you transfer that energy into something else, you're going to flatline. So I guess you could say really this video is about preventing flatlines, but, um, because those flat lines, man, they come and when they come, they're strong, bro. They'll make you, they'll make you, they'll make you hate yourself. But it's all a tick. It's a, it's all a trick. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a trick from the devil to try to get you back into, uh, and try to get you back into your bad behavior. You know what I mean? It's all a trick. So I just want to, uh, I was just making this video mainly just because I just wanted to help some of y'all because I was going through a flat line. I couldn't really tell what I was going through, but I was feeling really bad. And uh, I don't know if it was a flat line. I don't know what it was. But all I know is that you got to transfer that sexual energy, especially a lot of y'all that are coming up on higher streaks. If you're coming up on two weeks, three weeks, you're going you gonna to feel what I'm talking about. You're going you're gonna to have a lot of energy inside of you. And when you're alone, that's when you get attacked the most. So put it like this. If you are on a 14, 15 day streak and you're just sitting in your house and you play video games all day. You going, <clears throat> you going to get the urges the most. That's when the devil is going to attack you the most. You're most vulnerable when you're by yourself. When you're around other people, you're 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 constantly around a whole a, a bunch of energy. So as long as you're around the right people, you can be protected from from the urges. But um, when you're by yourself, that's when you're the most vulnerable because as long as the devil can get past your barrier, as long as the devil can can tempt you, then there's nobody else else's energy to stop him. You get what I'm saying? So you have to, you have to learn how to, uh, you have to learn how to, uh, how to transfer your energy. And so a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all, um, might be like, oh, well, how do I transfer my energy? What do you mean by, by transfer, by transfer and transmute your energy? Okay. So how you trans, how you transfer and transmute your energy is, 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 is kind of like this. You get a thought. See, I've been taking cold showers, and th this is kind of what it is. Before I hop into a cold shower, I think about some shit I want to accomplish that day, or I just think about something that's really been weighing heavy on my mind. Then I kind of sit there, I, med I meditate on that thought, and then I just hop in the cold shower real quick. And it's kind of like the same, that's like the same tactic that I use while holding my semen in, while holding in by retaining my semen. What you want to do is, you want to, um, which, you know, when you get up in the morning and the start or the start of the day, you know what I mean. You wanna you wanna just know the plan of the plan of the day. If you wanna, if your plan, if your goal a month from now is to get in shape or to lose this amount of pounds or to lose this or uh, to do this or to do that, then as soon as you wake up in the morning, put your mind towards that, put your energy towards that, and you'll start to notice. What you'll start to notice, especially if you're on a higher street, you already notice, but. A lot, I'm talking really to the, to, the, to the people that, you know, are just kind of getting started in this journey. But what you'll start to notice is you'll start to be able to put more time and a lot more focus into things that you might not have usually been able to do. Like you might be able to read books for you might be able to you might want to read books for a longer. And, and, and when you do read books, you'll be sitting there reading for like uh, like three hours straight. And you'll be like, damn, you'll be like, you'll be like, fuck, I, like, I, don't, I don't never read books. You get what I'm saying? Or you might. You might end up, you know, I don't know, developing a new skill or something like that. But uh, so you know, retaining your retaining your semen is important, man. And as far as uh, you know what you know, 
I mean, tra transferring your, your semen is important because the thing about it is, is just that uh, when you get on them longer streaks, I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all, man, you cannot be by yourself. You cannot, you cannot not do anything. You feel what I'm saying? That that's how a lot of y'all relapse. And I just really want to help. I really want to help some of y'all because of the fact that I feel like a lot of y'all are relapsing consistently, and you're not. Um, a lot of y'all relapsing consistently and you're not getting on the streets you want to get on. So this is just really just some advice to help y'all, man. Like, make sure you transfer that energy. Make sure you're you're out and you're moving. If you don't have a job and you plan on going on a 60-day, 90-day streak, then get a job. Stay busy. That's the best thing I could tell you is to stay as busy as you possibly can because the busier you stay, the better off you'll be. The busier, the busier you'll stay the more your mind will have to focus on. You'll actually, I'm telling you, you'll actually like working. Well, you might not like it, but you'll enjoy the satisfaction you get after a hard day's work. You'll enjoy that that gratification a lot more. I can't explain it. I don't know the science behind it, but you'll enjoy that satisf you'll, you'll enjoy the gratification of doing a hard day's work and coming home and just drinking some water or something like that. Y'all, you'll really enjoy that shit. You'll feel that shit a lot more. And so it's just shit like that, man. Make sure y'all are transferring y'all energy into the right places and avoid the people that you're around, bro. When you're on higher days of semen retention too, another thing that I've noticed before I before I cut this shit short is that you become, I wouldn't say you really become sensitive, but you become a lot more consciously aware of other people's energy. You become a lot more consciously aware of of what other people are doing and, and, and other people's energy. It's like it's like you just be knowing. It's like you walk into a room with somebody and if they have bad energy, you could just feel that shit. And that's kind of how I was feeling, you know what I mean, the other day. But it's like, it's the truth. I'm telling y'all, man, if, if somebody has bad energy and you've been on semen retention for a long time and you walk into the room, you can feel that energy. So... You know, you have to be very, very careful about who you surround yourself around because you can feel their energy, but they can feel your energy too. And and I, if, if y'all haven't watched my uh, my past video, my vampires video, make sure y'all go watch that. But when other people can feel your energy and you have good energy surrounded by you, trust and believe they'll try to take it. Look at the uh, look at the uh, the Akatsuki and Naruto, bro. You know what I mean? They they couldn't wait to get their hands on Naruto. You know what I mean? This nigga had hella chakra. He had hella energy. They they wanted to get their hands on Naruto, bro. They was willing to die behind that shit. But all I'm trying to say is that yeah, when you have good energy and you have powerful energy. Yeah, people will try to people will try to try to get you, bro. I'm I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So really protect your energy. Make sure you're transferring your energy into the right places. Stay focused on your dreams and aspirations. And yeah, stay tuned for more videos. All right, I'm out.